Bulls. The Nuggets and the Wolves, uh, both, you know, they're coming into this uh, season um, with high expectations. The Nuggets think that they can go back to back. The Wolves think that they can be one of the better teams in the Western Conference, if not the NBA. And I think that both these kind of bold true that these teams have strong opportunities to get to their goals. But they have to get through each other first. And they have made the Northwest one of the tougher divisions in basketball because we all know the toughest division in the West is the Pacific. But the toughest one of the toughest divisions in basketball, though, that varies. And this is one of them because you got the Wolves, you got the Nuggets, you got the uh, now OKC's balling out. Um, Also, you have um, who who else do we have in this conference? Because sometimes you get a little sidetracked on who the hell they have in this conference. Yeah, you still got Utah. Utah is not that great, okay? That's, you know, Utah is, we can, we can throw them out. And Portland is a work in progress. But their three teams, three top teams are really good teams that have been built very, very concisely, in my opinion. And I truly do feel that when you got a guy like um, Ant Edwards, you know, you can do a lot. You can do a lot of things. And Ant Edwards has the luxury of having – Cat and Rudy Gobert. So he has two of the biggest guys in the league playing on the box for him. But I truly think that they need a little bit more. And if they have to move one of those guys, they could possibly bring uh, him another wing that could be very, you know, feasible for him. But at the end of the day, you just hope Minnesota doesn't get caught in the same hype that they did when they had Levine, Wiggins, and Cat, where they just go stagnant because this group is better, you know, in my opinion. Now, the Nuggets, they come into this one, you know, Murray and Jokic, literally the the best duo in the NBA right now. I don't care what any of y'all say. And that's what pretty much gets Denver going at the end of the day. Uh, Jokic can give you the 40 or Jamal going to give you the 40. It don't matter. These guys – are in unison like every great duo. And when you have a great duo that's in unison the way that they are, the rest of the team falls in line. That's exactly what they do. They fall in line because they know they got two guys they can rely on. But at the same time, too, they know that those two guys got a full team to rely on. So they are just all in one year for you right now. And it's really looking beautiful right now for the Nuggets. And, you know, this 4-0 is not no fluke 4-0 like a lot of teams are when they start a season off. This is a very good 4-0 of very dominant wins. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be a very, very fun game. And where I'm going to go with this one is I'm going to actually take the under because it was too close to call. You see it's a two-and-a-half-point spread. So, you know, they their spread is kind of moody. they print saying that it's a 50-50 game. But I'm looking at the over-under, and they're telling me it's going to be a defensive game. So I'm going to take the under 219-and-a-half. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. We move forward from there. All right, so – we have our next game coming up, which is going to be this one right here, which is going to be the Bulls and the Mavericks. The Bulls coming here 2-2. Two two. The Mavericks are 3-0, another under.